Hey guys, you're here with Upwards and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the new 14 inch MacBook Pro base model from a student's perspective. During this video I aim to help you decide if this is the laptop you need and share my experience as a student using this laptop with you. As a student, there are four main areas of a laptop that are very important in a student's life and this is what I will be basing my review of the new MacBook Pro on. Battery life, hardware, display and performance. Battery life. This is by far the most important factor for students when looking for a new laptop. Having a laptop that constantly requires a charger is a very frustrating and oftentimes a time waster in the life of a student. Having a battery that lasts during the whole day is a must for any student. Hardware. Build quality and reliability is the second most important factor. Having a laptop that is sturdy as well as a reliable keyboard and trackpad are necessary for school life. No doubt in today's world, many students are forced to use their devices for schoolwork and having a great keyboard and a solid laptop is very important, along with a good camera for video conferences and microphones that allow you to be heard well. Display is the third most important factor for students. At school, you will end up spending most of the day staring at your laptop. Having a good display makes the school day a lot easier on your eyes and helps you to focus, especially if you are moving around in a lot of different environments. Lastly, performance is the fourth most important factor for students. Having a laptop that can meet your needs efficiently and quickly can make school life a lot easier. However, the reason why this is the last factor is because most students do not need a lot of power, but rather a solid all-rounder. Within performance, there are four main components, CPU, RAM, storage and graphics. For students, having a good combination of CPU, RAM and storage would be the most beneficial in the school life. So now, how does the base model 14-inch MacBook Pro meet these requirements? Spoiler alert, it exceeds every category. First off, battery life. Amazing. Apple raised this MacBook Pro at up to 17 hours of use, but in real life, I was getting about 6 to 8 hours of mixed usage. Typically in my day, I use about 30 to 40 Safari tabs with Google Docs, YouTube, Drive, and etc. I also use Visual Studio Code, Spotify, Discord, Logic Pro, and Final Cut Pro. This is not exactly typical for a student, so if I were to cut down on the amount of apps and tabs I use, I will be able to reach at least 10 hours or more. This is perfect for students. 6 to 8 hours of straight usage with a mix of professional and school applications is great for school days. And if you are a normal user, 10 hours is plenty for anyone. By the end of the school day, I was sitting at around 50%, which allows me to continue to do work after school for another solid 4 hours before the end of the night which allows me to only have to charge it when I sleep, which is super convenient. Build quality and reliability. The MacBook Pro this year is focused on function over form, and this has influenced the decisions Apple has made concerning build quality and reliability. First off, it's amazing. It's still a very portable laptop, and the form factor is great for students. The 14 inch display with a 16 by 10 ratio makes viewing content super easy. It weighs in at 1.5 kilograms, which is pretty light, and is 1.55 centimeters in thickness, which is also pretty thin. The solid aluminium finish feels very sturdy and premium, and has a nice heft to it. There's no flex anywhere, and there's nothing on this laptop I can see potentially breaking. The keyboard also has been updated, and so far I have been really enjoying it. It has a nice travel and a very springy feeling to it, which helps for long typing sessions. The trackpad is also a highlight of this MacBook. When I heard people talking about how good the trackpad are on these MacBooks, at first I wasn't convinced. I mean, how good can trackpads be? But now after using this for the last couple weeks, I end up reaching for the trackpad rather than my mouse, which has been super strange. It's just that good. The multiple gestures and the large service area makes navigating the user interface a very efficient and enjoyable experience. Lastly, in the notch, there is a new 1080p webcam a step up from last year's 720p cameras. It's definitely an improvement and my friends were surprised to see me with such detail. Microphones have also been improved. In fact, I'm recording the audio for this video with the built-in microphone. Display. One of the biggest features on the new MacBook Pro is the display. Featuring 120Hz ProMotion and Mini LED technology from the Pro Display XDR, this MacBook screen is truly spectacular. Combining that with the smaller bezels, Watching videos and movies on the screen is a really good experience. So whether you need to crunch through several tutorials or kick back and enjoy some TV shows, this display will make it a pleasant experience. Lastly, performance. 
In this section, this MacBook Pro destroys this category. Browsing on the web, loading up files, documents, and opening applications is lightning quick. Even with 30 tabs open, Discord, Spotify, Visual Studio Code, Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro open, this thing didn't even blink. Performance is no issue with this laptop. CPU and RAM utilization has always been pretty low, even when running all of these apps. In synthetic benchmarks, this thing scores very well. In real world tests, this MacBook is very capable, from editing 8K raw footage to heavy music production. Fair noise is almost non existent, but it does get quite warm after half an hour of intense work. So, those are the main areas of importance in the life of a student. But with any laptop, there are extra features that you will appreciate. First off, speakers. The speakers on this MacBook are absolutely phenomenal. My friends were surprised when I started playing music on it at how loud and bassy the music coming out of this laptop was. In fact, one guy was surprised to know that the music was coming out of a laptop. So if you want to jam some music with your mates, you can fire it up with this laptop. Touch ID is also super convenient. Apple has mastered this technology very well and it rarely misses my finger. Lastly, this MacBook has brought back a few ports they have been missing for a while. For charging, MagSafe has been brought back. And on the right side, we have an HDMI port and an SD card reader, along with three Thunderbolt 4 ports. Both are super convenient for school life, especially if you need to connect to a TV or input footage from an SD card. Now, my purchase recommendations. When deciding to buy this laptop, my advice is that if you're a student, stick to the base model and if you need to, upgrade the storage capacity. Based on my testing, there's no reason to upgrade the CPU and RAM. The M1 Pro is lightning quick and will serve most people well for a very long time. RAM utilization is also never a problem with 16GB, even with several applications open. So should you buy this laptop? For most students, no. This costs us 2000 US dollars and it is overkill for most students. If you have the budget or are looking at using professional applications, go for it. But for most students, you'll be better off with the MacBook Air or 13-inch MacBook Pro, which are considerably less. The MacBook Air starts at US dollars and the 13-inch at 1300 At this price point, you will still have a very capable machine that excels in the four areas a student needs. Here's a quick comparison chart. In conclusion, if you need the power or have the budget, the 14-inch MacBook Pro will be perfect for you. If you don't mind less performance, ports, and a worse display with a tight budget, the MacBook Air is perfect for you. If you want better battery life, the 13-inch Pro is perfect for you. I will be making a video comparing all three laptops, so make sure you are subscribed to be the first to watch that. So that's it. I hope this helped you make an informative decision, and I will see you in the next video.